Hello, my name is Dr. Jose Luis Ruiz, and I'm the director of the Los Angeles Institute of Clinical Dentistry. And on today's Dentistry Today Technique of the Week, I'm very happy to share with you an innovative and very specialized technique that will help us handle cases which sometimes are complicated. We all have had a tooth that we can tell that it cannot be restored with direct restoration like a direct composite. It's too large. On the other hand, maybe the patient is unable to afford an indirect restoration like a laboratory fabricated porcelain restoration. What do we do in those cases? Well, with the use of this material called Grandio SO inlay system, we have the option of fabricated a semi-direct restoration made out of composite. Let me share with you the technique. This case, as you can see, it would be usually done with an indirect restoration, a laboratory indirect restoration. This patient could not afford it, so we offer him an option of an indirect, direct, uh, same-day restoration. The first thing that we're going to use is the LA Institute Burr Kit from Brassler. We will utilize the appropriate burr, quickly remove the amalgam, and find that this tooth had lots and lots of caries underneath. After the preparation, you can see a very, very extensive caries in a large preparation. Still, I felt that the, the cusp was strong enough to withstand occlusal force, especially the lingual cusp. Immediately after that, we take an impression. The key with this technique is the use of the Grandio SO inlay system. It's a polyvinyl siloxane model or dye material that sets in three minutes and is very rigid. And in no time, as you can see, you have a dye. And now with the benefit of not having the saliva, the tongue, uh, or, or, or a complicated angle, we can actually create a beautiful composite restoration fabricated from Grandio SO composite, which is highly filled composite, excellent wear, excellent mechanical characteristics, and very pretty as well. This material will be filled in three different increments. Using my instruments, we will shape the tooth, we will create the nice contours, give it an appropriate occlusal scheme. And of course, we don't have an opposing, so we just have to follow the same contours of the adjacent teeth, which really will help us do that. At this point, we need to cure it really, really well. We cure in between each increment of the composite, now, we very easily can remove it from the dye, as you can see right here, and we will cure it now from the inside. Proper cure is very important, so we get the very best characteristics. Now, one of the most spectacular things about this material is that with a blade, we can easily create a dye. Look at that. We have a dye now, and we can trim the margins, and I like to use my my burr to trim the margins. You could very easily also use a, a blade, a, a Bar Parker blade to do that. It's your choice. And with that benefit, having clear view of the margins, we can trim it. We can polish using some disc. That restoration is going to be almost a lab quality restoration. Be careful not to damage the contacts. You don't want to have to go back and add contacts. Usually this restoration will be very easily adjusted in the mouth. Of course, we will adjust the occlusion correctly. This is, is key to success. And as you can see, the results are excellent. This restoration was cemented with Bifix QM and Futurabon included in the kit. This type of restorations are wonderful option in situations where the patient cannot afford a regular laboratory fabricated restoration. In many situations, this is a case in which a private patient cannot afford a crown, and then we can give the patient something in between that will be very strong, very durable, and, and a beautiful restoration. It has really been my pleasure to share this information with you. I look forward to seeing you in the next time. Thank you.